Hello and welcome to Michael Pepperdeck in today's video. This is a follow-up on my journey switching away from the Apple ecosystem. Well, as you've seen in the title, I alluded to, did I fail? No, not really. But, yes, I did pick up a MacBook Pro 14-inch strictly for the content creation side and some content consumption. And why did I do that? Well, I've been using a Windows desktop, and while that's nice, sometimes I need to, in, you know, be able to interact with my son and edit videos, and I can't just be, you know, stuck away in my bedroom, which is where my what my office is currently, and making that content. I got to be focused on. I need to be able to do other things, and also sometimes we go to visit the in-laws, and they live about 80 miles from here, and being able to make content while out and about and not just be stuck in my bedroom. And I picked up an Asus, and the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED, and it's a very nice product. But, that's where the struggles began. And so if you're in this journey, I wanna to talk to you about some things that I've noticed, some issues I've had, and why my journey has been a struggle. First off, I'll say, great hardware, smooth performance for most daily tasks, replying to comments, posting on social media, uploading, things of that nature. Where the problem began is creating the actual content itself. And what do I mean by that? Well, I can record on my phone and it doesn't really matter what phone I record on and it gets backed up to the cloud or I could plug in an external hard drive, a T7 Samsung drive and transfer it to that and then transfer that to my computer. But, I refuse to give Adobe any money and pay for subscriptions. I've already invested in the hardware. So then it comes to free alternatives. The problem with the free alternatives is they do not have some of the functions that I need. I cannot soundproof this room and so I need some background noise removal tools. Well, time comes into play. Yeah, I could go out and find some AI tools to do that for me that's an additional cost per month to get the pro versions of some of the software. I was using LumaFusion and I can record on my phone and edit in LumaFusion on my phone or on my tablet. Well, the iPhone version has the noise isolation tool that I need. The Android version does not. So then I'm looking at DaVinci Resolve and I'm looking at other editing software on the Windows side. And DaVinci Resolve has that tool, but I need the studio version to take advantage of any graphics performance and graphics GPU rendering on the Windows side. On the Mac OS version, for some reason, hardware encoding is included in the free base version, so I can use that if I need more complex stuff than LumaFusion and not spend additional money. So when I was looking at it and I was thinking, well, geez, I paid, you know, $700 plus tax, $741 for this Asus laptop, but then I'm going to be looking at spending so much per month or buying so much additional software, then I'm going to end up in the range of doubling my investment cost, and if I don't like the tools or I have an issue, then I have to go through a process of requesting a refund and may or may not get it. So for me, the MacBook is simply the tool that I use. It's similar to I have an iPhone and I use it to record because I can't record with the phone that I'm talking about. And so for me, those are the tools that are the process. But in my day-to-day -day life, my S24 Ultra is my daily driver, it's my main device. You see I have, you know, some messages and stuff on there from Best Buy. And my iPhone is simply the tool that I use so my parents can FaceTime my son, so I can record videos when I'm talking about this device rather than sitting in my studio in front of the camera and the microphone like I am doing right now has become a secondary tool. That's been my journey so far. That's where I'm heading. And you could say I failed. Let me know what you think down below. 
Did I fail or did I just discover that the tools that I need are for a certain purpose? Have you gone back and forth between Mac OS and Windows and discovered that maybe just using both is your benefit? For me, when I'm doing this talking head stuff and I'm just going to be in here, I can record at the computer here. I don't have a lot of space to be able to manipulate and have a top-down angle right now. And so when I'm going outside, I record on my phone. And I need software that can be easily isolate the background noise, a plane coming from above, a neighbor kid yelling in the background, and get my voice isolated. For, so for me, those are the reasons where I struggle to do a different choice and part of it is just what I'm so accustomed to using Pixelmator to edit my thumbnails and edit photos, Lumid Fusion to edit videos or DaVinci Resolve to edit videos and then Lumid Fusion to bring the background noises away. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Check out the description for links and ways that you can support the channel if you'd like to. There is a Buy Me A Coffee link. Also a Patreon page down there. $3 a month if you want to choose to support the channel. Get access to some of the photos that I've taken. Um, articles that I've written about. Some things on my mind or certain tech topics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and love.